going on people, welcome to United View, welcome to the road trip for our game against Brentford today at Old Trafford man, last game before the international break, fighting talk from Ten Hag, again I feel like every single game, no excuses, must win game, no mistakes, um, and I'm almost out of words so I'm going to hand straight over to Marcel because Marcel, I need some positivity, I need something, um. I need it. Well, I, I don't know, Flex. Today I'm a bit worried. Oh, for um, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I'm normally, pos normally I'm positive, but we've been conceding so many goals, man. So I know that we're going to concede today. But because we're at home, I'm hoping for a good result at the same time. I'm worried about the team selection. I'm worried about our star players that we trusted so much last season to, you know, perform, especially at home. You know, and I'm talking mainly about the Rashfords and Brunos. But, um... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, the team selection, especially in that defensive line, has to be good. It has to be right. What different? What 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 stiff? What can you do right? You know what? We, we no, I'm about left back. Yeah. Well, no, I'm oh. about left back. I think you got to get him out of there. And I think, you know, on the match view last game, we all came together and said maybe Lindelof at right back, mm. and maybe Delo at left back. And then what? Who? And, you said which centre back? Unfortunately, you know, and, and this shows the lack of backing from the manager. But it's got to be with the centre back that you wanted to get rid of last season, Maguire. And Varane, who, you know, has not been 100% fit all games, but if we had got a centre-back in during the summer, maybe, you, you know, you would have got a starting player there. That uh, We're going to play on the halfway line this game, I'm assuming. You know, Brentford haven't been brilliant this season. So, we're going to play on the halfway line. And when you've got Maguire there and Varane, you might find yourself in a bit of trouble. Plus, Lindelof in the wide areas. Just a bit worried, but I know we'll have the quality up front, man. Hoyland, brilliant, brilliant spark to the team. Um... And, and I want to see what he does on the right-hand side as well, Flex. What do you think? Uh, I th Anthony will be straight back in. Straight back in? Yeah, I think he will. I think uh, I've been saying it on some of the morning shows as well. Any sort of insight or inclination of being able to play your best team yeah. or what his starting team is, mm. which his front line was supposed to be Anthony, Rashford and Hoyland, he's now going to have that available. So he's going to go to that straight away. And I think the fact that he hasn't had not like one person just play right wing since Anthony's not gone since Anthony's gone yeah, yeah. he hasn't just played one person on the right sometimes it's been Bruno sometimes it's been Palestri yeah. sometimes Rashford's gone out there in the middle of the game that shows that he's just trying to get through until Anthony gets back fit enough with, with, with his absence so I think Ten Hag will play Anthony straight away I think that now means that there won't be with what he said about Rashford yesterday how he backed him he yeah. definitely is starting he wants to play him through this really bad patch of form yeah, where he's getting he's getting some assists here or there but his consistency over 90 minutes has not been good enough yeah. hence why he's been taken off um, but at the back I just it, basically what we're saying is is Lindelof is a better fullback than Amrabat yeah. so put him there yeah. um, but like you said it shows the reluctance to use Harry Maguire and what the trade-off is there because he feels that with Harry Maguire playing there we were even worse than having Amrabat playing left back. So it's a damning indictment on 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 Harry Maguire really. It shows a complete lack of confidence in him. Really. Because if you think about it, you like you said, that would maybe make more sense. Mm. But he's like, I know I know Amrabat, he can he can play inverted left back and come into come into central midfield and it helps us and he's more I think he's more thinking about that as well. It's another way to get another central midfielder in. Yeah. But now Anthony's back and there's a little bit of a little bit more balance. Um I don't know, maybe. What do you think what do you think in terms of how the style of the game will go? Because when, when Amrabat played in that left defensive mid slash left back role against Crystal Palace, they respected us, gave us a lot of the ball at Old Trafford. Do you think Brentford will come with that approach to, to allow Amrabat to play in the left back role comfortably? Because he had a good performance in that yeah. game. <laughs> but that, that was just a game where Palace, like you said, they sat off, they played some kids, not even their proper team. When he had to play against Jordan Ayu. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. when he had to play against Tete, like he didn't get skinned every time, but little, just little things start creeping in because the tempo's higher. You know, he played the guy off onside. You know, got done from the throw in. Yeah. Like it's just not his position, but I get it. We have to do it until Regulon comes back. So look, even I, I, look the f famous last words, but you know, you were going to have the lion share of the ball against Brentford. He should still be able to play there, but I, I get it. Like it's, it's Robin Peter to pay Paul because. You know, Lindelof hasn't been playing great at the minute, to be honest. Put him right back against someone quick. Wissa might be out there, I don't know. I don't know if Josh De Silva might be out there. I don't know who they're going to play left wing. Um, but you never know, he could have a tough time. I don't know. But Anthony's back, so there's a bit of help there. So I don't know. It is, it's a tough one. But I, I think Ten Hag, I, I, would, I, don't, I don't necessarily disagree 
with bringing in Maguire, you know. Yeah. I don't I don't necessarily disagree. I know some of you like at home will be like, no, absolutely not. But Lindelof hasn't been playing great. And, and you know, Maguire, we're paying him a lot of money. He hasn't, he hasn't gone. So it's not like we've never won a game with Harry Maguire playing. So if he does start him, I'll see why. Because it does need a bit of a refresh. They're, they're, they're out of sync. They're not playing well. He can see the stupid chances. Um, midfield. Uh, so with, do you think that, you know, because Anthony's back, that'll put Bruno back into the 10? Mason Mount has to play. Yes. He has to play. Yes. And he's obviously going to play Casemiro, surely. So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be the midfield, or do you think Hannibal will get a look? Well, that's a really good question, man, because obviously Money Mount's been on the money with the passing through the, third, through the thirds into strikers. It's been all right as well the last couple of games, but Hannibal's been good as well. Hannibal's been decent as well. So I, I don't know. I, I would like to see Bruno start to perform, but he deserves to be dropped and is our captain. I'm happy that Casemiro got the red, you know, because hopefully that means, yeah, and, and the reason why I'm saying it, Frank, oh. is because it means that we get to maybe see Amrabat come into the, the to the, the single pivot role at some stage in the Champions League or in a big fixture. Well, yeah, like, we I will by the time that game that. comes around because Regulon will probably be fit by then. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so right. I feel like it could work out in its own weird way because I think the, the passing of the torch of Casemiro to Amrabat needs to happen sooner rather than later. He's been caught out quite a lot and the performances haven't been brilliant. But, yeah, I think he's going to go with his, his, his trusted, maybe. Bruno, Mount, Cass, mm. you know, and, 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 it, and we might see a little bit of problems, but if, if Brentford do sit back and, and give us the time and space, I think Casemiro is brilliant when he's when he's able to play his passes with time and space. Mm. Yeah, he's definitely playing today. I just worry yeah, if we concede. Like, Eric Ten Hag, you know, he's saying everything that we know, talking about the concentration, talking about, you know, the backing of everyone, we have to fight. He goes, basically, they were saying, like, does it make the job harder? Or are you annoyed? Are you scared or something? He goes, listen, I'm here to fight. Like, it was, it was the second part of the press conference that came out later on was, there were some really good quotes from that, which almost like a rallying cry, you know, almost like a rallying cry. But again, if, if you can put the players out there, you can lead the horse to water, but you can't make it drink sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? Like, they just keep making, like you said, we're, we're getting into positions in games where we're absolutely fine. We're doing everything that we're supposed to do. We're on top, we're scoring, or we're defending properly, we're passing properly, we're doing the correct things. But it's only 20 minute spells, it's only half an hour spells. And then when we score or concede, like he said, we need to be better. So if Bre I just worry if Brentford score first by you know, us being stupid or it could be a wonder goal or whatever. Like, I, I can't see us winning. We have to score first. Not to score first, I think we're gonna have to score two without reply before I even start to think that we're going to win. Does, That's how mentally fragile we are. Does he does he does he still get time if we lose in the right manner if that makes sense or does it depend how we lose the response from the team the morale how you know it's two weeks of this suffering again like what happened the last two weeks yeah, together. Awesome, yeah. yeah, so yeah, th th there's nothing Ten Hag's safe. Yeah, he's really safe. He's safe because what on earth are Man United going to do if they sacked him tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's also safe because most fans I know there's a minority of you guys that are questioning Ten Hag and saying mm, I'm not sure about this, and but most fans are behind Ten Hag. I, I would, I, I feel comfortable saying most fans are, but it is getting very nervy, and results make things worse. If you keep losing, then you know the faith goes. I think right now, if he did lose against Brentford, it would be absolutely horrendous. But he wouldn't get sacked, no chance. Um, but yeah, um, roll on the game, roll on the game. Uh, we've gone through our starting lineup pretty much about what we think is going to happen and what we'd like to do. Yeah. Um, let us know yours. Give us your predictions. Make sure you join the guys live in the studio for the match view. KG and the gang will be there. Get involved. Watch it with them. And again, match uh, full time view of Owen. It's been getting Im improving right. every yeah, every single week. Yeah. It's improving and getting getting more and more um, inclusive and everybody engaging. Everybody getting involved. You have to be a member to, to get involved in that. But it's very easy. You can just click the membership button. Uh, on the screen or sorry the link below you can do that and you can call in live and have your say um, with with Owen we'll be getting reaction at Old Trafford as well after the game hopefully just win boys please like just I just want to be able to ju just one watch games tomorrow about feeling annoyed just want to you know because City Arsenal just want to see a good game not having to worry about my team you know I want to be able to go DR on Monday and not get cooked yeah <laughs> Because Spurs are going to beat Luton, someone's going to do, Liverpool probably beat Brighton, Chelsea are going to beat Burnley, and it will just be me again, losing. Um, just just win. And, and if we win, I can't even go, oh, we're back, well, just, I'll just be quiet. I won't even say, I just, I just want to be left alone. Just win, please. For the love of God, just win a football match, man, at home, Jesus. 
Um, and I'll see you after the game. Take care. Peace.